Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist, Dear 1111. I'm your reader, Lorraine, and guys, I'm here to do your 1111 reading, as well as it's your daily reading as well, for the collective. So this is for all star signs. It's not really about your gender or what month you were born in. We're just going to be focusing on the energy at this really, really special portal time. Um... I love this, the 1111 11 day. Um, this is seriously a day of when you need to be just honing in on just staying on a very, very, very positive vibe. You will find that you will be more um, really, really honed in on being focused and really trying to just align yourself with, um, you know, very, very much good intentions. Even if it means that you're writing down lists of what it is that you're trying to plan for and really trying to figure out your path where you are going to end up, where you want to be, who you want to be with, etc., etc. This is an amazing day to do something about it. This is about endings, new beginnings coming this way, and then the next stage after that is about expansion. Okay, some serious hardcore energy, and it's beautiful. I hope that you're able to feel those vibes as well. Um, and also, I'd like to say a big thank you and shout out to the new and existing subscribers. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell below the screen, and that way you can be informed by email once some I've uploaded new content for you guys. I'm also very quickly going to be doing a twin frame 1111 reading as well. Um, I feel that I need to get some kind of messages coming from the universe with regards to the twin flames because there's a lot of things that's going on right now, okay? But I'm going to be using a different deck for this. Um, so yeah um so yeah definitely sign up for that i'm going to try and get that done um yeah as soon as possible okay so look out for that let's get back to this reading now i did try to do one earlier and it was i was distracted so i wasn't able to do the reading um and in the end it was as if like to say just do another one okay so i'm going to give you guys a fresh reading but what I was picking up was that you do have somebody that's trying to throw you off, off of your path. You need to be very careful, okay? Um, this person can see that you're really doing well. And they don't like the fact that you are rising up. But the fact is, is and the truth of the matter, is that that's not really their concern anymore. What you're doing with your life has absolutely nothing to do with them. But they don't really care because they just want to just have this smear campaign or this hate campaign about bringing you down okay and you are really it's like you're fighting against with everything that you've got in order to make sure that you're you're still going ahead with your plans okay new beginnings for you've gone through a lot of shit you know over the past few years so this is your time and you know about the 11 11 okay this is why it's a great exciting time for you now to start putting your plans into practice Let's see what we've got going on with the numerology cards. I did get number 11 um, for individuality and card number 33, which was um, communication. So you can definitely type those numbers down. I'm giving them to you again because I really feel very strongly. Let me see if I can get them. Um, that you need to have this, um, this message. It is so important um, that you just really hold on to... Yeah, there they are. I'm going to give these cards to you. Um, for your for your manifestation okay definitely where you definitely want to be on your own but you do have somebody around you that's trying to talk to you that's trying to throw you off that's trying to give you some misinformation ignore them okay so that was in the previous reading and then this too we have got spiritual career and we have got self-love so you're really taking care of your vibes you're protecting your energies you're making sure that you are staying Definitely, definitely on point and on top of your spiritual goals. This is what you want to go for. And nobody's really going to stop you. Okay. But you do have somebody, as I said, they could have been a rival. They could have been an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend. Um, but where they've seen you, they haven't seen you for such a long time. But it's as if like, if you are in contact with them now, or they may be watching your social media, but they've noticed a significant increase um well a, a totally different person and i've just seen 444 when i've said that let's get stuck in and seeing what's going on with them what do they want because you've changed i feel you gave them enough of your time already you gave them enough of your time 
and now it's your turn okay it's your turn it's your time to do what you need to do okay so let's get stuck into the tarot okay because i'm hearing you know as well like they you know they were kind of like very dismissive towards you like they didn't really have it's like they didn't either have time for you they had other people that was pulling them in all different directions um influenced by others so when it came to spending um you know or to try and build something with you i'm not getting any satisfaction from that i'm not feeling that that's something that was really coming together okay so we've got the knight of swords this is the overall energy and i feel if you can see that there is a tower card um there's, there's a tower card there's a tower um here that looks like it's a blaze i feel that this change came in very very quickly it's as almost as if you had the, the quickening this doesn't represent somebody this is the way how things are stepping up for you now um because you're stepping away from bullshit and all of a sudden now because you're, you've tweaked your mind into a different kind of um, energy frequency level and um, looked at things differently now um, you've seen that the way forward is for you to now start to get now i'm hearing your gatherings so you could be gathering your um, new friends your soul tribe but also the fact that this is gathering information that you are going to be using to take you to the next level so this is the full card in reverse now i do sense that there's certain things as i said that you are looking to sort of um make sure that you are on the right path before you venture off i'm also sensing as well that you are definitely paying attention to the red flags this time around i don't sense this card has been oh that you're a fool and and stuff like that you're being reckless um if anything i will i will see that this is a that person around you that they're not wanting you to really look that way and you're like you know like why are you here okay why are they here good question we have got the sun card you're healing this card came up in your previous reading as well this is the success no matter no matter what is going to happen by hook or by crook you're going to be successful even though this full card is in reverse i feel that it's just a way of just blocking you for this precise moment in time to make sure that you have your uh your t's crossed and your i's dotted before you venture off anywhere okay and i more sense that this is to do with the individuality and the um communication card because the numbers of the both of these cards the colors are quite similar so that's the root chakra and the sacral chakra healing like there's no tomorrow and the next card that we have got yep page of pentacles offers coming in also this is a way of you learning new things as well could be wanting to go and study something that's online something that's going to help and enhance your skills already um you've really got it's like you're really trying to make sure that you have got all ends covered you've got all ends covered you're not sort of make you know you're not making no mistakes this time you're making sure that when things start to swiftly go fast for you that it's going fast because you've blocked off all kinds of um you've cancelled all blockages you've dealt with the closures you've said your goodbyes and now it's time for you to start saying your hellos okay so we have got the yeah the ten of wands in reverse let go of everything letting go letting go of all the stress letting go of all of the dramas because it's not worth it okay it's not worth it they see you as somebody who is just determined and there's nothing they can do you've got the judgment card great could be somebody that's definitely wanting to reconcile but you are reconsidering that request feel that this is where your awakening has, has kicked in as i said it feels like a quickening um for you to really start to realize that oh my gosh i need to get ready i i need to step up because i don't want to be left lagging behind 
I need to make sure that I am in my, you know, I'm going to be getting my success. I want to be, I want to live prosperous. I don't want to live in, in distress. Having people around me that's not going to be doing anything for me. There's no growth anymore. There's no love. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of stress and worry. We've got the Queen of Rods. Beautiful card to have. You're taking action on looking after yourself. This is the self-love energy as well that I'm picking up. Although it does refer to the Queen of Cups. Um, but I do feel with this card, um, you're really trying to balance things out. And with the Sun card there as well, it's all about action. They're still attracted to you. They still want to be around you. They love you and they miss you. That's great. That really is great to hear. However, I don't feel that that's kind of like your calling right now. Okay? With this judgment card, it really, it's like it just made you stand up and just pay attention. Now, for you, now is the time for you to take action. You heard that trumpet call and it doesn't call for nothing. You heard it. You're ready to start off your new beginning. You're ready. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have got the three of wands in reverse. They are definitely wanting to hold you back. Definitely wanting to hold you back. I sense that there's a little bit more healing to do. And with the communication card, what I'm picking up as well is that you need to make sure that you are speaking very clearly with regards to what it is that you want. Before you take action, you need to really think carefully about what it is that you want. And I sense this with the Knight of Swords, because swift action is going to be coming in. And where you're ending with the Queen of Rods, this is about the action taken. This is getting things done. You don't want to be making any mistakes, okay? Now, let's just have a look at this, this card a minute. Because this person, this energy that I'm picking up, is somebody that's around you. It's like they want to kind of talk to you and have this kind of communication, but you're just not interested. You've got your back turned. You're, you're busy. Okay? Let me just have a look at the full card. Why is the full card here? What is this? What is this that needs to be done? Victory, overcoming obstacles overcoming obstacles i don't sense pride here i don't sense egotism here at all i sense you overcoming all of what you've gone through because of the ten of wands show me the ten of wands please in reverse what's going on with this card what was the what was the angle what was the reason yeah you cut them off queen of swords you cut them off you knew deep down inside the clarity you you had information you either had information and this is what led you now to take swift action. That's where the Knight um, of Swords kicks in. Underneath the clarifying deck, we've got the Empress card because this is what you need to go towards, your expansion. Remember I said to you with regards to leveling up yourself, once you have um, sort of like stemmed away from, you know, saying your goodbyes and everything like that, then you can start to focus on your growth, inner growth. I definitely feel that for some of you guys, you definitely want to have some kind of spiritual career, some kind of spiritual business that you've got going on, that you're trying to set up. You might be wanting to have an Etsy store. You might be wanting to have like um, creating your own decks. Um, definitely having some kind of spiritual based business where you could be selling crystals or getting into healing of some kind. So I do feel that there are certain things that you need to be really honing in on as well, which is about make sure that you're looking after yourself. This person, I feel that, that you, you've kind of phased them out into the old timeline that's been broken down right now because we are experiencing a massive, we are experiencing a massive shift right now. Okay, so I feel that this person is really going to be sealed off in this old timeline. You won't you won't hear from them again. This Queen of Swords does not play. You can mess around with this air sign energy. But the moment that they say enough is enough, they are taking out that sword and they are amputating that connection with you permanently. It's not going to be happy. You're not, you're not able to come back again. Okay? So whoever has wronged you, they will be taken care of energetically. Okay? Let's close off this reading, guys, and see what we've got going on for any extra messages. We're going to be using the... 
sacred destiny sorry the sacred destiny um the moonology and the soul's journey all right so let's look at moonology first Okay, two things came out. First of all, we've got a new start coming. Fabulous. What's been thrown away here is have faith in your dreams. Don't throw your dreams away. This is what this person wants you to do. They want you to be so distracted that you're going to be losing your faith, that you're going to be, your dreams are going to fade out. But that's not going to happen. You've got a new start that's coming. The wheels have been set in motion. The universe has decided you have put in enough hard work already and this is what you need to be embarking on. And I feel that maybe with the have faith in your dreams, this is part of the reason why um, this full card hasn't actually turned um, upright for you because you just need to make sure that you have to have faith. It feels like you're taking a big risk here as well, but have faith that it's gonna work itself out, all right? Um, we've got the soul's journey. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You have already done this. This is what I just said to you. The universe has seen that you have put in the work. You have gone through your errors. And I've, that, that person that, who is trying to come back into your life, yeah, they were part of the failure. But that was the building block for your success because you've got the sun card that is right next to the full card. So have faith that things are going to work out. The failure cards you know about, you, you're seeing all, the, you're paying attention to the red flags, you're not rushing in, you're taking your time, you're being very practical here as well as being realistic. Um, so that's fantastic. Yeah, let me pull another card for you. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So this is what I said, to, it just feels as if you need to be by yourself, away from every kind of um, kind of energy that could be interfering with your own so that you can identify your own vibes sometimes when we have so many people around us um it can get a bit too crowded okay and it clouds our judgment it clouds our intuition we don't feel that we know if we're on the right path but your loneliness is your protector you are able to sit down and really delve deep into your imagination, pull out all of that creative energy that you've got, that creative juice, and start to build on that, okay? Very, very important. And then we're finishing off with the Sacred Destiny. Taking risks, there you go, taking risks. Told you you're going to be taking risks, but you need to have faith. It's going to work. You're going to soar high up in the air like this gorgeous eagle. You're not going to fly, you know, and fall flat, face first, flat on the ground. No, you're soaring high. You've got the universe that's just opening up all of these. This to me reminds me of like the portal that's been opened. Okay. It's the 11 11 portal. You just go through it and everything is going to be there for you, waiting for you on the other side. You've got the call from the judgment card. Okay, pay attention, listen to what's going on around you. Next card I've got for you guys is New Beginnings. Can't make it up. You see me shuffle the cards. You've got newness coming your way. How can you fail when you know that you're going to be successful? You know deep down inside you're going to win. How, how do you feel that you're going to fail? You're not. It's impossible. You know why? Because I said the universe has your back. You have already changed your mindset. So that way everything falls into place. This is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this reading. It's got me feeling absolutely positive. I've got truth chills. It's amazing. I'm going to have a bit of this energy as well and incorporate into my own plans for myself and really get vibing up. I wish you all a very, very happy 11-11 day. Um, keep on rising up, guys, and don't stop, okay? Just don't stop because you've got your new beginnings right around the corner, all right? Good luck, stay blessed, and I will see you later. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe now. Peace out.